When I first saw the Geely Cool Ray, I knew it was gonna be a game changer. Who would have thought you can get so many features and performance to boot at such an affordable price? And then to further raise the stakes, this came along, offering just as many features, a similar powertrain, and the added benefit of third row seats. And at that point, we all knew that it was just a matter of time before another player came to further raise the stakes. Case in point, the Ford Territory, also offering heaps of features at an affordable price. And it would have been really nice to showcase all three vehicles, but unfortunately, I don't have the Ford Territory here with me. Well, if it isn't Reagan from Reagan's Rides. Hey Ray, nice of you to drop by, man. So what do you say we showcase these three vehicles to see what's what? You done for another collab? Sure thing, bro. Okay, you guys heard the man. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Oh, wait, that's for your channel, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I just got used to it. Oh, uh, it's, it's confusing and it's so contagious because we're making the same video for his channel. And if you guys want to watch that, please click on the link above. Otherwise, please subscribe to both our channels because we're going to keep working our butts off to bring you more videos. the Geely Cool Ray. And like the Ford Territory in Cherry T Go 8, this has a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Now this may have one cylinder less, but it's actually the fastest among the three, not to mention the lightest. And what that translates to is 0 to 100 in 7.9 seconds. So this also has a 7-speed wet type dual clutch transmission. So gear shifts are pretty quick when it's on drive. However, when you shift it to manual mode, there is a slight delay when you try to shift the gears yourself. And there's really no point in doing that because it auto upshifts when you're on manual mode, so you might as well leave it on drive. And when you have this thing on sport mode, it really knows how to rock and roll. So think of this as the Ford Territory and Cherry T Go 8 on steroids. And if you're into spirited driving, it's a no-brainer which of these crossovers is for you. Woo! This thing is crazy quick. So unlike the other two, this does not have a dual clutch. It has a CVT, a continuously variable transmission. So in the absence of gear shifts, this has the smoothest transmission of the bunch. So if you like refinement, this may be the one for you. And for a CVT, it's actually pretty responsive. In fact, you need to be fairly light-footed to drive this thing smoothly. But transmission aside, this does have the least power with only 150 horsepower. However, it ranks second to the cool rate in terms of torque with 225 newton meters. And what I like about this is that peak torque comes in very early on at 1,500 RPM, and it stays there until two thirds of the rev range. So that means you always have power when you need it. Now the Ford Territory steering is the lightest among the three. And if you like effortless steering, then this is for you because it's a breeze to drive and maneuver in tight spaces. However, since it's so light, it almost feels disconnected from the wheels. And what that translates to is sometimes it's hard to tell where, where the wheels are pointing and on-center feel is kind of vague. But the steering ratio isn't bad. In fact, it's pretty quick. But I just wish it would be a bit stiffer, especially at speed, just to give you a bit more feedback. So that kind of rubs it up a sporty driving experience. Now, if you want to get rid of some of that drone, you can pop it into manual mode. And it does a pretty good job in emulating gear shifts. 
But if you just want that instant throttle response, leaving it on drive, you'll find that the car actually does a pretty decent job. This also has the softest suspension among the three crossovers. And what that leads to is an extremely comfortable ride. And the good thing about that is, as far as handling is concerned, it doesn't feel wallowy around the bends. So they struck a really good balance between handling and comfort. Also worth noting is the fact that this has the longest list in terms of safety features and driver's aids. Because you get adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, and park assist. So it's hard to regard this as a driver's car simply because it has a CVT and the steering is ultra light. Now I know the CVT does a really good job in emulating gears, but it still isn't the real thing. But crossovers aren't meant to be sports cars. That's why they're called crossovers. They're meant to get you around with as much comfort and ease as possible. And this does that extremely well. Because like I said, the ride is very refined, suspension is soft, NVH is really good, and it's really easy to drive. Last but definitely not the least, we have the Cherry Tigo 8. And this has 145 horsepower and 210 newton meters of torque. Now the 1.5 liter turbo engine in this is mated to a six speed dry dual clutch transmission. So is there any reason why I saved this to last? Well, partly yes, because this is a good mix of the cool ray and the territory in the sense that it's not as refined as the territory but it definitely does feel a bit sportier because of its dual clutch transmission now it's not as sporty as the cool ray but it definitely is more refined so this may not beat the other two at one particular trait but it does everything extremely well and if i were to choose a daily driver I'd probably choose this because it's such a great all-rounder. You have a comfortable ride, light steering with good feedback, and adequate power and engine response. But regardless of which of these crossovers you drive, Ford Territory, the Geely Cool Ray, or the Cherry Tigo 8, you're in for an extremely pleasant driving experience. So how was it bro? Sporty, refined, and a little bit of both. But Ray, we both know that crossovers have to offer more than just good driving dynamics. You're right, you have to be uh, spacious and practical at the same time. I mean, given the stiff amount of competition uh -huh. nowadays, having a lot of toys as well, well, it, it adds that wow factor. That's true, and that wow factor sometimes becomes the deal breaker. So let's see what these have to offer in terms of that, starting with the trunk space. So let's check out the trunk space. Hey Ray, could you give me a hand here, man? Could you open the trunk? Sure, bro. Show off. <laughs> the Territory's trunk offers an adequate 420 liters of cargo space. The Tigo 8 gives you more than twice as much with 890 liters, not to mention the capability of having two more passengers in tow. Being the smallest of the group, it's no surprise that the Cool Ray has the smallest trunk, offering 330 liters of trunk space. When this first came out, I was stunned to know that you can get an interior so gorgeous at this price point. The design is simple and clean, yet visually appealing. And you can attribute that to the layout and the choice of textures and materials used here. All touch points are soft and these full leather seats are comfortable and feel nice to the touch. The best part about this is no cows were butchered to make this. You also have niceties such as a digital instrument cluster and this infotainment system that isn't rocket science to use. It has a 360 camera, though the resolution is like 90s cable TV, but it gets the job done. There's also ambient lighting, dual zone climate control, and like the other two contenders, a huge panoramic sunroof. But I guess the Tigo 8's ace up its sleeve is the fact that it has the biggest cabin here, plus third row seats. So let's check out the territory. This is another testament to the fact that it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to have such a nice interior. Out of all the interiors here today, the territories is undoubtedly the most sophisticated one. You get real leather seats and the padding on the dash and door cards are extremely soft. 
This also has some toys not found in the other two, such as heated and cooled seats, a wireless charge pad, and an auto dimming mirror. Like the others, you also get a digital instrument cluster and a huge infotainment system. Although it's worth noting that this requires a bit more practice before you get used to it. It just isn't as intuitive as what you would find in the Coolray or Tigo 8. But if we had to rate these vehicles on interior aesthetics alone, this would definitely win hands down. So that leaves us with the Coolray and let's see what that's like. This may not be the fanciest interior here, but it's definitely not dull or boring. In fact, I think this is the best interior you can get at this price point. Geely has a relatively younger group of designers, and it shows in this interior with its hip and sporty vibe. The design isn't exactly conventional, and I'm not usually a fan of Radical, but in this case, I think they nailed it. This may be the smallest interior here, but it definitely does not feel cramped. And the best part is, you get an array of niceties that was once wishful thinking at this price range. So as far as the exterior is concerned, what you have here is small, medium, and large. But regardless of which of these crossovers you look at, they're all pretty stunning and you get some pretty decent kit. At the front, all of them sport DRLs and LED headlights. Along the side, they all come with 18-inch alloy wheels and side mirrors with turn indicators. The cameras are nicely integrated for all vehicles. At the back, you also get LED tail lamps, although it's worth noting that the Coolray has the nicest exhaust pipes of the bunch, probably because they're the only ones that are real. As far as styling is concerned, the exterior actually echoes their driving dynamics, sporty, elegant, and in-between. So the Coolray is priced at 1,198,000 pesos, while the Cherry Tigo 8 and the Ford Territory is priced at 1,340,000 pesos and 1,299,000 pesos respectively. And they are all well-equipped crossovers. So thanks for watching. Wait, 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 wait. Is that it, bro? You're not gonna pick one? You have to pick one. The audience deserves a verdict. Pick one? Uh, well, Ray, we're both huge fans of the Cool Ray, but it's kind of unfair to pit it against these two because they're just so much bigger and they cost a bit more. Well, okay, bro. Between the Territory and the Tigo 8 then, you gotta pick one, bro. Uh, you know what, Ray? I hate to do this, but I really want to test it out a bit more. Maybe give them a series of tests, stuff like that, just to put them through their paces, man. Okay, I could smell another video brewing. Oh, you do, huh? Well, I think that's a good idea. You want to make another one? You betcha. All right. Let's do that. So until then, thanks for watching.